So in this video, we're going to install Zabbix Agent on a Windows server, but this Windows server is going to be behind a firewall. So what I'm going to need to do is create a firewall rule so that Zabbix Agent can actually do passive checks on the host here, and the host will all will already be able to do active checks. We'll send active checks to Zabbix server, but Zabbix server won't be able to communicate with that agent unless we create a firewall rule. This is a little more complicated. What we do is go to the Zabbix downloads page and we go to the Zabbix agents option over here. And we click that and because I'm on Windows 64 bit, I'll find this one here, 4.2.3. Press download. Okay, I'm saving that. Now I'm just going to run it. Okay, welcome to the Zabbix Agent 64 bit setup wizard. Next. Accept. Next. Host name. That's the name of this computer, and that is accurate. Zabbix server. Zabbix. was here. Um, the agent listen port. Yes, we'll leave it as default. And a server or proxy for active checks will also be that as well. We'll leave those as default for now. We can change those later when we get to them. Next. This will install an agent daemon, a Zabbix sender executable, and a Zabbix get executable. We'll look at those as well later. It will save it into C program file Zabbix agent. Install. Finish. Okay. Now let's set up the host on the Zabbix server. Let's go to configuration hosts. Let's create a new host. And the host name will be the name of this computer. If you don't know that or you forget it, you can open up command prompt and just type host name like so. I'll just copy that. There we go. Oh, the group is going to be We don't have a group for Windows servers. So I'm just going to type it in. Windows servers. Excellent, new. Excellent. The agent interface and the DNS name. Now, these two things. It's going to be an IP address. And because we're, we have to set up a firewall rule, port forwarding rule on our router, we'll have to repoint our actual external IP to the internal this internal hosts IP on to port 10050. So for IP address I'll put in my external IP address and that is what is IP. That is there. Now there we go. That's this is the IP address that Zabbix server will query for the items on this host. So we'll leave that as IP. We will create a firewall rule in a moment that will convert that IP address and that port to my internal IP address, which happens to be 192.168.1.1. Get onto that. Okay, we need to create some templates so that Zabbix server knows what items to ask for. Now, if we go right to the bottom, there is a Windows template. There we go. It's rather basic, but we'll make additions to this. Well, we'll make a better Windows template later on. Press add and press add. 
Okay, so let's look at the information there, interface. That's an external IP address of my network. So we now have to go and create a firewall rule to convert that to my internal, to redirect it to my internal host, named that. Now I'm on my router and I'm looking at my firewall settings and I have to go and create the new rule now. Um, you will you may have different uh, firewall management software such as pfsense or whatever other maybe something cisco gave you or you what your isp has given you okay so i'm gonna select something i created a long time ago zabbix 10050 and that's going to point to my internal host called that kq696p6 let's add that and apply change is applied okay so that now should now work we just have to give it a minute or two for the Zabbix agents and Zabbix server to communicate with each other again and get their latest information so templates hosts nope still can't get the information yet i think we need to give it another minute one thing we can try is to go into task manager services go down to zabbix agent here and do restart stopped running that will trigger uh, a new update from the zabbix server so let's uh, have a look at what the, here we go zabbix availability is on okay so what we just did there was we just installed zabbix agent on a windows desktop computer which happens to be on a private network behind an internet facing router and because zabbix server can't query that server directly we have to create a port forwarding rule on the router so which was well, that's what we've done so we've found our external ip address and any message that makes sense to that external ip address on port 10050 we repoint to this internal computer here and that's working and if we just have a look at monitoring latest data and we'll just get rid of that and we'll look at some new host here windows servers desktop kq9 let's have a look what kind of information we can see processor load um, file read bytes per second it's a whole lot of stuff free memory 12 gigs let's have a look at that last five minutes well there's not a lot of data yet but this is be very useful over time anyway 